Do you see how I see? Many ghosts in the afterglow of sunset nights. Nature's beauty lost by the loss of human rights. Daughters deserted, mothers are murdered. The women of First Nations. The afterglow is filled with all of our relations, waiting in patience for a time of validation. How much blood must be shed before the nation sheds light? When killers take lives and feathers take flight. When violence remains and this silence reigns, we see what we want. Like we have a hard time believing, pushed to the side so their lives have less meaning. Families with lost daughters, lost futures, lost mothers. Feelings are invisible, but they still have meaning. Sad fathers, sad brothers. Silent voices that we are not hearing. They have names, faces, backgrounds, and stories. It's time to take action. Say no to fear. There's no dry eyes on the highway of tears. Justice doesn't bring back our loved ones, but how much more can we afford? Pray justice will make sure it won't happen no more. For what you see is not what you get. What did you expect? When instead of remembering, we choose to forget. When it comes to priorities, we push them aside. I ask, how many murders constitute a genocide? See? When we look away, somebody's hurting them again. And every time we look away, it's like we murder them again. And there's a lot of people not doing anything, stuck believing that life is inside a box that we turn on at 6 o'clock and watch until the program stop. Stay entertained and not aware that the danger's not out there. It's inside of our hearts. Because there is no feelings left. See, this quiet is still killing. This blood is still spilling. The people are still willing to stand by, not up. To stand down, not for. And silence is not good enough anymore. So, Creator, please forgive us. Creator, please give us the strength to go on. And let our daughters outlive us. Give support. Give love. Stop the silence.